Rights Watch says he comes backwards and forwards. Rubbish with Human Rights Watch. Yes, please don't bring Human Rights Watch here in Rwanda. Rubbish with them. Now, according to a recent UN report, there is evidence that Rwanda has helped organize, finance, and supply those rebel troops. Well, I've been talking to the Rwandan president, Paul Kagame, about those allegations. You see, there is, no, there is no evidence, there are no facts, because it is not happening. Even what is being said in the report you talked about, by the way. Well, the monitoring group report says that um, they interviewed nearly over 80 deserters of FNRDC, that's Congolese Army Mutinies, um, and Congolese armed groups, including from M23. They said they interviewed 31 Rwandan nationals who were involved with M23. They said the group has photographed weapons and military equipment found in arms cases. Have you battle seen field, those photographs? And obtained have you seen those photographs? Yes, I have. Those photographs? No. I think you are not, you are not being open. You are not being honest in, in the fact. The, the, the report contains what it says. To me, it is a fictitious report. When you keep talking about the report, the report, I don't understand the report. Do these people even need weapons? They've been deserting with weapons. They are coming from government forces and moving with weapons. I don't you have to give anybody a weapon. It doesn't make sense. Secondly, this so-called rebellion, in fact, stands for nothing for us. If somebody just tried to think reasonably, what would Rwanda be looking for in this mess? Previously, we are working with the government. We are doing what we needed to do with the authorization, working together, what else would we be looking for? Clearly, Kinshasa has very little control. And you've been, apparently been losing control. I should over not years. be accused of that. This is what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not saying that you are. I'm That's not, what we are accused of. No, 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 we should not, we we should not be accused of a mess in the DRC. Period. Well, of course, uh, Rwanda's top army leadership uh, in no way and I'm uh, very categorical about this, in no way would be involved in destroying the peace they have been working to, very hard to build. Um, Rwanda's army leadership is as good as it, as it gets, both in, in um, ethical conduct and now, in on the question of uh, MONUSCO. Let me be very candid here. MONUSCO is not the only UN mission that has uh, problems around the world. Come back. I can, I'll turn this one. Yeah. Um, Mr. President, Ginny Stone from ABC Australia Television. Um, my question relates to Bosco and to Gander. What would removing him actually do to the situation in Eastern Congo? I don't know, because I'm not responsible for Bosco Maganda. He's Congolese, go and ask the Congolese. Sure, but the problems he's causing are causing problems for Rwanda. What? No, the, the, the problems actually for Rwanda are caused by others, not even him. What secrets does he have? Why the reluctance on Rwanda's part? Why? And what secrets does he hold that stop Rwanda taking action against him when he was on the Go and ask him. Go and ask, 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 him. Him. ask, or, or go and ask those people who have him. He's not here, he's in Congo. It is not in our hands that we are protecting him so that he doesn't spill secrets. Go find him where he is, go ask Congolese and ask them what secrets he holds. He's not with us. You see, if he was being kept here and, and protected and shielded, then you would say, no, but you are doing it for some reason. But he's not here, so go find him where he is. If he crossed over, would Rwanda arrest him? No. Why isn't he being arrested where he is? 
Why do you ask me whether I would arrest him when he comes here? Ask those why didn't, if they were even interested in arresting him, right? Now, let, let, let me speak to this. Even if there were accusations that, uh, you know, for six months in the air, he's in Rwanda, and for another six months over there, he's in the DRC, right? Why don't you ever ask yourself, because we're not the ones looking for him, why don't you ask yourself, why don't those people who are looking for him, for any reason, arresting him when he's with them? But Rwanda is an international citizen. Rwanda you know, answers to the world. This is a very damaging situation for Rwanda. No, 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 but you're not answering my question. Damaging Rwanda for what? Of course, uh, anything can be damaging to Rwanda if that's why we want to look at it. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why do you create a scenario, a situation, out of Rwanda and bring it and put it on our doorstep just to cause problems? Why? I'm, I've asked you a question. And I wish you could listen or even tell you some of those people where you come from. <laughs> Please, Bosco, you are talking about, I don't know why you are looking for him. That's, it's, and it's none of my business. I don't manage Congo. I don't manage Bosco. I have nothing to do with him. That's number one. Number two, the international community pays MONUSC. They have a force in the RSC. First of all, you should be asking yourself, what are these people there to do? You need to ask yourself that. Second, if you have a force there, and you have a government there in the Congo, and this is where this person is, why do you leave this place and come and ask for Bosco here? You must ask yourself that and ask yourself. Why do you, why, what is this obsession of always asking Rwanda, Rwanda, why are you ignoring these fellows where the problem belongs? So if I was in Congo, I would ask them in Congo that he wants to watch this and if he comes backwards and forwards. Rubbish with human rights watch. Mm -hmm. Yes, please don't bring human rights watch here in Rwanda. Rubbish with them. 